Oof. Let's talk about like terms. Now, this is not how we overuse the word like. Like, you know, how like we always say like. No, this is like terms. These are terms that are alike. And the thing with like terms is that they have they have identical variable parts. And what we mean by that is that they have the same variables and they also have matching exponents. See, we want to talk about like terms so we know what are the things that we can combine. Now, here are examples of like terms. If I were to take 8x and negative 13x, what makes these like terms will be the variable factors of the term x and x. Those guys are exactly the same. Which means since the variable pieces are exactly the same, I could add or subtract these guys if I were called upon to do so. Here's what you need to know. Addition and subtraction is kind of, kind of racist. Okay? What I mean by that is that things have to be like terms. They have to be alike. If they don't look the same, you can't put them together. And this is one of the reasons why I, I guess why I don't like addition and subtraction. See, multiplication is really cool because the multiplication and, and division, they don't care if you're not alike. If you're not like terms, multiplication says, bring it on, honey, come on. <laughs> Probably doesn't say honey, though, because he's watching out for sexual harassment. <laughs> but I'm just saying. It's one of the things that I don't get down here. I, I like when I'm going eating someplace and the person says, can I get you more to drink, hon? <laughs> Nobody calls me hun down here. I don't know if it's because I'm not young enough to be called hun or I just can't say it anymore. Look at these two guys. Now I'm going to make these even crazier. I'm going to do this, y squared and y squared. Are these guys like terms? <laughs> yes. Look at, the, look at the variable pieces here. Not only are they both y, but they have exponents that match up. Right? Well, I, I could add or subtract. It depends on what it's asking me to do. Right now, it's just a matter of, are these like terms? Those are like terms. Those are like terms. I'm happy. I'm as happy as I can be, right? If I have 7x to the third and negative 10x squared, are these like terms? No. Why are they not like terms? Although they have the same variable, look at their exponents. Are they the same? They are not like terms. These are not things that could be combined through addition or subtraction. You could not combine those. Not through multiplication. <laughs> oh, ye. But we can't do that here. What if I have 4x squared y to the third and 7y to the third x squared? Are these guys like terms? No, we combine them. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying they're not like terms, but we could combine them? Elena, you think yes? yes. Elena thinks yes. What do I? Me too. Other, okay, so we're, we're split down the middle. Oh, you're not. You're undecided. Are you going to vote green? No. <laughs> <laughs> they are not like terms. They have, the, they have like terms in the two... Now let me ask you this question: What's understood to be to be between the four and the x squared? What's in between x squared and y to the third? One of the great things about multiplication is that we get to use the commutative and associative properties, which means the order doesn't matter. We've talked about this, right? And if the order doesn't matter, I could rearrange even these guys, these guys over here, so I could say this is seven x squared y to the third. Notice how these factors are still exactly the same, just in a different order. Since multiplication of the order doesn't matter, well, look at these. Do they have matching variable pieces now? They both have x to the second power. They both have y to the third power. So these guys are like terms. 
I had the factors in a different order. But when I rearranged the factors, those pieces in the product, you see that I do have like terms. I know what you guys are thinking, I'm tricky, tricky. All right? I mean, a lot of times we use variable expressions to help us you know, set up or to express a situation that's in the real world. Have you guys ever had someone come to your house and give you an estimate for flooring? I want to put down carpet or put down wood or laminate or tile or whatever, and they have measure your rooms. Now, a lot of times they will, they will do this. When they do their estimate, they'll say, all right, whatever the square footage is, whatever we have square footage for the floor, I'm going to add 120 to that. Now, why would they do that? What? An estimate? Well, yeah, they're coming up with an estimate. Is every house in your room, you know, a perfect rectangle? No. 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 I remember trying to even estimate it in my old house because I got new carpet put in when I was selling my house. The formal areas in the front, that was easy. It was 12 by 24, just one big room. The rest of my house, it was all weird angles. I mean, you think about this, this was the hallway going to the bedrooms. It did this funny weird angle right here before it opened up to, you know, the four bedrooms. It was so janky. But sometimes they'll put in the extra because they've got to make sure that it fits right. And you don't want to have it to be just exact because what if you screw up? I'm sorry, we didn't bring enough uh, carpet. Uh, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. So they'll do this. So suppose. What if F is equal to, you've got 1,200 square feet that you want to carpet. So how much do you, would they bring in? How would you figure out what they're going to bring in? Well, according to this expression right here, F plus 120, they're going to take whatever F is, and they're going to replace it with 1,200, and they're going to add 120 to that. So how much flooring material will they bring? 1,320. Now, what if they change it up? Because is every house 1,200 square feet? No. So what if they measure and they find out that the square footage is 850 that you want to cover? They're still going to be using this almost like a formula. But this F, this F is a variable because its value changes, right? But they're still going to be bringing in an extra 120 square feet just in case. Remember the example about the Triscuits, sometimes they're broken? I actually talked to my wife about that, and actually they, they really weren't broken, so she had an extra box left over. So, But I was prepared, though. I was prepared. So if F is 850, then we have what? We have 850 plus 120, and we would end up with what? 970. Are you with me on that? Now suppose we were to, uh, we could change things up here, give a different example. Suppose I say that you want to, you want to withhold, excuse me, $75 from every paycheck. Like maybe this is something that you're pulling out, you're going to put into savings. So you want to know what would your actual paycheck be? How much would you have to you know, play around with, to spend, to pay bills with, or whatever? Well, you might set up something like this. Well, if P is my amount of my paycheck, and I'm taking 75 away from it, that's going to tell me how much money I have, right? So what if P is equal to $320. How much money would you have left to use for bills? Or whatever you want to do. How would you figure that out? I would plug in the 320 where I see the P. Minus 75 and we end up with what? We have how much? 
255, do you all agree? See, I don't agree with that. 245. 245, right? Why did I write it? Because that's what she said. And you guys said, uh huh. <laughs> How about 245? Is that better? Oh, maybe that's wrong too. Is it right? Are you sure? Oh, you did it on, oh, since you did it on your paper, then it's right. But you know, suppose that next week you get paid a little bit more. Suppose next week you get paid $570. So what does that mean for you? You plug in, you change that P to 570, Minus 75, and what do we have here? 500. We have how much? Oh, I wrote, I wrote it down. $495. We'd have $495. Yeah, you want to make your life easy. <laughs> Be careful on that. 